Alright, if anything's gonna happen, it's gonna happen out there, boss. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Captain Ron jokes aside, this was a freaking huge moment for all of us, and it's a pretty incredible story how we ended up here. To make a really long story short, I sold everything I owned, quit my job, bought a sailboat, and sailed off into the sunset. I crossed the South Pacific with my brother Brady more than a decade ago, and eventually sailed to a magical island where I met the love of my life. Fast forward 10 years, a trip around the world, a wedding, a daughter, and countless islands, parties, scuba dives, friendships, terrifying moments, challenges, rainbows, sharks, tears, and laughs later, and here we are preparing to cross the world's largest ocean once again, this time with a family and a whole new perspective. This is us, the Troutmans, Brian, Kaza, and Sierra. couldn't make the journey alone, so we enlisted the help of some of the saltiest friends we could think of, Hannah and Connor. And this is our vessel, Delos, a 53-foot floating home that has safely transported us and 69 other crew that have been part of the journey over the years to the most incredible and far-flung corners of the globe. And now, the voyage. This is our departure point, La Paz, Mexico. After making our way south and rounding Cabo San Lucas, we would lose sight of land for nearly 3,000 nautical miles as we head southwest towards the Marquesas Islands in French Polynesia. If all went according to plan, we would make landfall anywhere from about three weeks to one month later. We felt all kinds of emotions as we prepared to embark on one of the greatest adventures of our lives. Excited, anxious, cheerful, confident, cautious, but most importantly, we all felt one thing, ready. I can't believe this, Sierra. We're gonna go sailing for so long. Are you gonna take a picture? Yeah, yeah, mommy. Of Bye. me? And you? Yeah. Okay, take a picture of us then. Wow, that's such a good picture of you and me. Mm, I love you. Oh, okay, Dad. Are we going to have fun? Yep. Good. Get free! We're going to need that again in about uh, 2,900 miles from now. <laughs> Sounds crazy! I've been dreaming of this passage for years, and now it's finally happening. You couldn't wait. You're sailing right out of here. <laughs> yeah! I oh, believe we're going! It feels really surreal. I feel like we've been planning towards this for so long. And we've done so much work and so much preparation and so much to get to this point. And now Sierra has to pee. <laughs> okay. Wow. Cut, and I will continue that in a little bit. Bye bye, Mexico. We have whales. Whales. Where? There it is. That's a good omen. This has been the best passage ever. <laughs> Brian just yelled that there's a high temperature on the main engine. It can't be that hot. I mean, that's outrageously hot. Do you have an infrared gun? Yeah, I do. What is going on with my boat? Our normally trustworthy, reliable Volvo had been playing tricks on me lately. A few days ago, I got an odd oil pressure reading and suspected an instrumentation problem. I found the oil pressure sender terminals were wet with coolant, which I figured could have accounted for the false readings. I had yet to find the leak though, and reason that I had just overfilled the coolant tank. But now, with two problems within days of each other, it was becoming likely that the cause was connected. This doesn't feel that hot. Well, maybe we'll just sail for a while and see what happens. Oh 
La Paz is only a few miles behind us, and I'd be lying if the thought didn't cross my mind to go back to the anchorage and do some troubleshooting. Dallas is a sailboat, and that's what we were going to do. We have all the knowledge, tools, and spare parts on board to handle just about anything that this engine could throw at us. We were absolutely ready to set sail, and a high temperature alarm wasn't going to stop us. How about them shots, though? That was awesome! You ready oh my to bring God. it in? Let's bring Let's it do in. Let's do it. I got my glue. Okay, landing cam. <laughs> Warm it up. Nice! Epic grab! Nailed it. Yeah, buddy. And then I fall and drop it in. <laughs> morning, morning. Today I'm on the Sunrise Watch, which is definitely my favorite out of all of them. It gives me a chance to just have a few minutes of time to myself before everybody on the boat wakes up. I still like to stick to my routine though, which is why I'm very proud to say that today's video is sponsored by AG1. Eight ounces of water, AG1 powder, shake and enjoy. And I stare at the ocean for a while while I drink it. I've been doing this for well over a year now, and I can definitely say that I notice increased energy levels throughout the day. I'm replenishing my body with essential things like vitamin C and zinc to support my immune health, and also magnesium and other micronutrients, which is good for my focus and energy, which is super important because the water from the desalinator has basically all of the minerals stripped out of it. AG1 is some seriously good stuff, so please support our project by visiting drinkag1.com forward slash svdelos, link in the description below. Once again, that's drinkag1.com forward slash svdelos. If you do, you get a free one year supply of vitamin D drops and five free travel packs of powder. For those of you that are on the go like us, that's it. Thanks very much for watching and back to the show. We had that high temperature gauge a moments ago on the main engines. We shut down, began sailing, and now that uh, everything's calm, we're sailing, everything's casual. Brian hopped down there, investigating a little more. We are low on coolant, which is strange. It is very strange. You checked uh, that recently. Yeah, I did. Well, if there's a leak, oh. <laughs> there's a leak, then I'll fill it up and we'll find it. <laughs> Assuming I don't spill it all over the engine instead of getting it in the header tank. I have a feeling 10 seconds ago you thought, should I get this funnel out or not? And you thought, I think I can do it. I did. Turns out, I can't. You can't. <laughs> not under sail. <laughs> Much better. Look at that. Brian just called for the camera. It's either a good thing or a bad thing, but I don't think it's a good thing. It's a real cooler. So there's the drip. Mm hmm. So it's dripping from right here. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. And then it's running along here and dripping off the alternator. So I got to drain the whole engine, take the hose off, and see what's up with that. So Brian, it's dark now. Well, I definitely found a leak. And I think the hose over the years is rubbing on the alternator a little bit to find a bit of hole in it. So I've got various assorted things. This, this is rescue tape. Silicone works great for emergency hose repair, <laughs> pipe like plumbing this. repair. Electrical insulation, corrosion protection. Is there anything this thing can't do? The original self-fusing silicone tape. Get rescued or just get stuck. Seals leaks fast. That's exactly what we need. Bingo. Let's put this on there. So Brian, this, this is, a, I think, a fascinating point in question. So we are taking off on a nearly 3,000 mile trip into the South Pacific. And some people might think to themselves, well, I must turn around and go back to La Paz. Oh, it's oh, only oh. four miles behind me. What, what are your thoughts? Just go. <laughs> it's a sailboat. <laughs> this is an auxiliary engine. So and I got tape. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do this. Right there is the hole. We'll just tape that bitch up. So far, so good. It's not leaking. Magic tape. <laughs> Magic tape. Let's go for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good work. Oh, oh God, we're idiots. <laughs> there, there we go. go. Nice work. Good work. Well, it's been the most idyllic night watch. Very thankful 
through this moment under a blanket of stars on our way to the Marquesa Islands of French Polynesia. I still can't believe it. It's so, so mystical, so magical to say, but we're doing it. We're en route and so stoked. Signing off for now. April 17th from La Paz to Nuku. Hiva. This is very chill watch. There was no wind, and then there was wind. And then I put up the sails and turned off the engine. Two hours flew by like that. I had a bowl of noodles, really good. And I listened to two podcasts. There you go. Good night. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. See you soon. this cape here and our beautiful sailing is no more <laughs> it just completely died i was gonna take in the sails and i guess start up the engine Sierra is doing really good so far. It's gonna be really interesting to see how it goes with her for so long on the ocean. The longest passage we did with Sierra was like a week from Mexico to Panama, but then she was like really young still, so it was very different. I do feel really nervous about sailing with her for so long, but I also feel like it's most of the time it's gonna be fine. I think we're gonna have days where it's like tough and when the boat is moving a lot and yeah, sailing with the toddler for 20 plus days on the open ocean. <laughs> it is kind of crazy when you think about it, but we have a really good crew and I feel really good about it. So I think we'll be fine. It will be what it is, I guess. It's not much to do about it. <laughs> So passage prep two is to get your hair done. <laughs> then it's like stays out of your face. You don't have to brush it or care about it. So Hannah is gonna do a little braid action. We'll see how it looks. <laughs> Heading down the coast of Baja, we're almost the very southern tip to Cabo. So we are just noticed there's something going on over here. Maybe a school of dolphin. There's all kinds of little fins breaking the surface and little splashes going on. Connor just checked the drone out. We're gonna see if we can see them a little bit better from the what, what, what air. Do you see it? The dolphins? I think so. You see all these little splashes? Oh there? yeah. It's a huge pod. Look at them all. Yeah. Oh, they're like right in front of yeah, next to the boat. Dolphins! I love dolphins! Woo! No, wee, wee, wee! Wow! <laughs> Whoa, the water's so clear! Wow! <laughs> How does a dolphin sound like? Here he comes, here he comes! Whoa! Drone recovery system! <laughs> what? Another successful time! Good work! Good job! I always get so nervous! <laughs> you? Yeah! We continued motor sailing along in light conditions, when all of a sudden, our peaceful afternoon was interrupted by a very distinct sound that can only mean one thing. Fish on! 
That's a hard. I think it's like a big fella. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna need the. Need Connor? <laughs> no, I'm gonna need mine. Oh, your uh, penis thing. Oh yeah, gear up. <laughs> Wait, what is it, Sierra? Now, mate. It's coming. Doing good. Ooh. What, that is. Oh, uh, what the? Yeah, what do you call them? No. no, those are a lot longer. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> She's scared. So we came to the conclusion that it's some kind of jack. Jack. The, maybe the Cavalli jack, or what was the jack that you thought? Big eye. The big eye. Yeah, either way it looks good though. How much meat's on that baby calves? Oh my god, at least like 10 kilos. Holy <laughs> <laughs> It's so heavy. Wow, it's a beautiful wow. fish. Oh my god, Can we... oh. <laughs> I can't hold it anymore. It's so heavy, Sierra. It's massive. It's way it's more than you do. Okay, let's cut into this, see what the meat is like. Yeah. So, what's your plan of attack? So, I'm thinking. Um, to fillet it like similar to how we do a mahi. So I'm gonna start down from the bottom and I'm gonna just cut along here and then along here and then I'm gonna work my way up as close to the spine as possible so that we can get as much meat off of this fish and really respect and value the life uh, that it's provided for us and the meals that we will be able to enjoy. And I think it'll be quite a lot. Like it's because, a lot of meat. It's yeah. Wow, that's a pretty clean fillet job, I'd say. Fill it, sorry, fill it. No. <laughs> so, approved? Yeah. Sweet. Dallas approved. morning we won't see land for like so long it's gonna be like a couple of weeks right like 20 something days yeah wow hey. kind of a cool last new plan though i know are you a hoon today are you going crazy at sea already <laughs> <laughs> see that little face in my camera wow. hey. down. Dog. you want Neutral. a treat you want a treat, doggy? Oh, you can have some ice. Oh, dogs love ice. Love ice. <laughs> Pretty good full day at sea. And I'm just about to start cooking dinner. And we're going to eat fish for dinner. Fish for dinner. Yeah. That's full day, team. Good job, everybody. Daddy. Best new plan. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, bye, land. Bye, son. Bye, bye, land. And that's Cabo San Lucas. Bye, so that point yeah. right there is 15 miles away. That's Cabo. When we get around that, we should find our wind. Start cooking this fish. I'm gonna bread the fish. I made a little potato salad. Just heating up the oil. Get it real nice and hot. I'm gonna put the fish, egg, and I did like a flour mix with breadcrumbs, some Parmesan cheese, some salt and pepper. Hopefully it will taste good. I don't know. We'll see. This is a meal too that um, I probably wouldn't brave unless it was like really hot conditions because dealing with hot oil underway is not. <laughs> Guess what? What? What up? I think we're seeing the wind. Uh, I think there's enough to sail. There's like seven, eight knots. It's not from the perfect direction, but 
we can get around the tip of Baja and then we should get. You can see the end of the I can land. see the end of Mexico right oh here. <laughs> so let's go on starboard tack uh, and just see how we can do. Yeah, pull it, pull it, pull it. That a boy, boss! You got the win now! Yeah, boss. <laughs> Beautiful! It's wild. It's all this commotion going on up here. Sails coming out, boats leaning over. And a whole little world going on down here. A little baby enjoying her playroom up front. Hi, Sierra! The galley is creating all kinds of delicious smells thanks to Kaza, hard at work. Kaza! This looks fantastic! Potato salad with breaded fish. What kind of sauce is this? Like a tartar sauce. Mm. Oh, oh my god. god, look at that. Look at that. I try the fish. How's the fish? Oh, mm hmm. Is that? This is life. Sunset. Up next on Delos, we get our wind all right. Well, that escalated pretty quickly. And we bash right into it as we start making miles out into the open ocean but we managed to make the most of it and eventually settle into some pretty epic downwind sailing conditions. I told you that if you ate a piece, I would eat a piece and now I'm regretting. Because <laughs> I didn't think you'd say yes. <laughs> I said yes so quickly. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. Okay, I just want a little, a little piece. Oh, you know, you go first. Okay, I go first. Yeah. Are you really gonna do it? Maybe. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Okay, ready? Okay, ready. <laughs> what did it look at me? What is that face? <laughs> it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not sashimi quality. Oh, you threw it out. <laughs> I just spent like an hour filling. <laughs> it's much better cooked. Okay. It's just not a good raw it's fish. Really you don't have to try it. Okay, good. I, I, don't. <laughs> I, I didn't want to anyway.